Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome, welcome back to an area that I haven't been to in quite a long time. Now, sadly, I can't say this is a completely blind view because I have, in fact, seen it as well. I might upload the, um, I might upload my completely blind reaction, but because I was with a few friends, I couldn't really just take the sights in um, completely. Um, but at the same time, I do seriously want to make... I wanted to make something more personal out of this, because this is something that, to me at least, I've enjoyed this game a lot, and when I first started recording this, the big sort of hoo-ha that I made of this game was, in fact, the Area 18. Now, if you haven't watched my older videos, um, I can, I can safely tell you now they are very, very different to what this is. Oh my god. Um, so previously, Area 18 used to be a point where you could go to on a whim. Like, if you wanted to, you could you could either choose to do the, you know, the to look in a hangar with all your stuff, or you could choose to go to Area 18. It was the sort of, it was like a tech demo to simulate, I'll never get over has to be there. <laughs> I've been on one of those, they're terrifying. Um, but no, this is Arc Core. This is a planet, uh, one of the planets in the Stanton system. Hey, Aegis Dynamics, good company. Um, that is a massive city. Imagine Coruscant is the only way I can describe it. It is literally Coruscant. Um, and years ago, I made videos um, in this about this game regarding the... Uh, shall we say... Shall we sh I made videos in this game regarding Area 18. And I really, you know, I was perplexed, I was amazed, I was like, oh my god, this looks amazing, and oh, wouldn't it be cool to have all of these incredible sights, and I'm just imagine coming over here with a mission, and then today happened, <laughs> or more specifically, then I got taken on a tour of what Arc Core Area 18 is like now, and well, for any of you who haven't seen that video, or haven't seen it since, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't actually been here in the night time, and I'm loving every second of it. Like, this is semi-blind, because I've never been here in the dark. But just look. And here. Oh. Like, as a city liking person, I've always had the belief that a city looks much more beautiful in at night. And I can say for certain, this city is gorgeous. All the little neon signs, the backward dark alleys. So good. And again, there's the trading thing. Oh, my heart, my feels, my memory, my nostalgia. Because previously this was in a more open environment. They still had the arc core floating um, cog wheel thing, but they also had and they also had the massive arc core things with the enterable buildings. Um, so a lot of this is fairly similar, but the only difference now is that where there is now a cola fountain. Um, there is uh, and you know leading towards different paths. It was actually a simple bridge taking us over to a ship store, think a quote. Like a prestigious ship store. Anyway, so... Ooh, they even have an ATM. One of these days it'll work. Um, so, yeah, a lot has changed since then. And I remember making videos saying, Oh, I wonder what's going to be like and, you know, when they open up certain areas. Because, like, I was totally unaware of what could be happening. Motherfucker! <laughs> it's too... Let me out! <laughs> Damn it! There's always a gate. There's always a fence. I'm so disappointed. Uh, yes, you look it. Anyway, we truly live in next generation times. For all my life, I have wanted to see a floating hot dog. Holographically projected. Ah, oh, they still got Coke and Fanta and coffee cans. Yeah, this is... There's another one for pizzas as well, which I love. Um, but no, this is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. But we are here with actually for a purpose. But I figured whilst I'm here, I might as well make a video talking about how much I love this. Also, <gasps> it's a turtle! Oh my god! And then we're gonna eat him. No, mine. Turtle's mine. <laughs> oh my god, I got a turtle. I got a glitch turtle. Nope. 
I have a, I have a glitched turtle. I, 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 is the game not letting me have my thing? Oh dear. I may have fucked myself here. Oh, I think I might have glitched myself. No! Damn it, the turtle! I, I fucked myself. No! Maybe that'll work. It, no, it has not. Oh no, fuck. Okay. Okay, guys, I think I know why we had to get rid of the turtle. Please come to utility. There was a turtle, alright? If they were gonna make it a dinner, I did what any bloody person would do. And now I'm stuck. For all eternity. Right, I dropped the turtle. <gasps> it's alive! I won't pick up the turtle. Oh, bless his little heart. Can I? Oh, I'm stuck carrying. I'm I'm stuck looking at this turtle. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to carry the turtle. There you go. I have freedom again, and then I'm going to put the turtle down. Can I put the turtle down, game? Yes, I can. Oh, bless its little heart. I'm going to put the turtle back where it belongs. There you go. See? See? I'm a nice person. Oh, bless its little heart. I'm very concerned at the fact that we're in a Chinese-style <laughs> environment and there's a turtle in what looks to be like a first dish setup. If I can, I will try and save the turtle. Ah. Oh. By the way, I was able to save that by pressing 6 and getting the equipment out. I was going to try and release it into the wild, but this is an entire this is an entire planet made out of uh, whatever. So we're here for so going back to the main point, we are here for a purpose, and that purpose is to speak to that girl over there. Her name is Twitch. I don't think she's a a, a, a functioning member of society, shall we say? Hello. Looking for work? Maybe. Well she's, ma well, she's a magician. Uh, post them to raid it. Stash house. Hit it first. Imagine the crew won't be uh, if you run into a position. Handle it. Steal their supply maze before you destroy it. A bunch of drugs in there. Oh dear. Uh, I've got a ship ready for you at the private landing pad. Okay. Yes. Day. Yes, so do I. Right, okay, so we have got a job to do. We need to pick up the vessel. And I need to get off world. And we're back. So apologies for that. I just had to spend it. It took me forever to figure out that was actually next to me. That's yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, regardless, that's over at the airport. We need to probably go pick it up at some point. But I just wanted to quickly show you this, because this is actually pretty cool. So, this, um, so basically, Arc 8, Area 18 now is a lot more flushed out. Um, it's kind of like a circuit, in a sense, because all of these areas kind of are all linked with each other, uh, with the only exception being here, which allows you to go take up the tower towards Arc which I will probably do to kind of round off this particular thing. This is cool, though. Holographic... Ah, oh, that's cool. Holographic style um, advertisement, which is brilliant because it's making me thirsty. Uh, as always, never a good thing. Hello, fellow magician. Um, but no, this is pretty, pretty dope. Spectrum. Ah, okay. Is there anything I can buy? Oh, it looks like a fairly standard magazine slash um, even a rival's pet's pad. Can I speak with you? Wow, silent treatment much? Honestly. Oh, I also got new armor. Um, do forgive this weird color augmentation. I couldn't quite get everything to be the same color. I'm loving the color of the trousers. They match it fine. Unfortunately though, I couldn't find the same color to be found with the arms and the chest and the helmet. Um, without them having extreme, without it looking extremely stupid. So, 
I'm opting to go with the lesser of two evils and utilize uh, only the legs looking a bit out of place. Arguably, I'd want the entire body to look like the legs in terms of color, but there's not a woodland option for the torso, which is really dumb, um, in my opinion, but yeah, that's besides the point. So this is considered a medium to heavy armor, so I've got a lot of uh, capacity to withstand stuff, which in future videos, or this one, depending on how things go, um, we have got some shooty shoots to do in the future, which is pretty nice. So this is actually the place which we used to be able to go to um, previously, they used to have glass, uh, they probably had to upgrade because people probably broke the glass. <laughs> oh, look at the lovely artwork of a ship you'll never own! <laughs> and there it is, one of the ships you can actually buy. Um, you may be wondering what the whole, the weird sort of, uh, aura around this particular vessel is. That just means you can buy it. Um, there's a number of ship selling facilities in this game already. Um, which you can purchase for in-game um, monetary stuff, so let's have a look. You can actually technically buy a whole bunch of ships um, at some point. I'm fairly confident that eventually you will be able to find, excuse me, um... Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so nice. Reminds me so much of the ship from Starship Troopers. Oh, so good. Anyway. So, um, yes, this place you used to just be able to go around. Sadly, that lift does not go anywhere. It should. I have always wondered where it went, and unfortunately... It was the, f it was the first place I went to when I first went into here. I was like, ooh, lift. Does it work now? No. Fuck. But anyway. But no, this place has just become so beautiful. Like, I'm a city person, so I love this. And I like the fact that it's slightly shit in places. Normally, that's something that puts people off, but in, in my eyes, I love it. I, it could also be because there's a whole bunch of... There's potential anime slash um, Japanese influences here. Oh my god, you're a fellow crazy person. That is a person who really does not care if you want to push them off, doesn't it? That's the, go ahead, push me. I've got nothing else to live for. He should have more happiness in his life. And there's Dumper's Depot with a large assortment of bits and bobs that you can buy. And the floating hot dog watches ever forth. I'm going to say, there's lots of magicians in this place. I'm a little concerned for a, pl for a city that is so future and technologically advanced. Oh my god, they still have kebabs here. Do they have kebabs? No, we might truly be in the civilization. No, no. Uh, oh no, it's nachos. Nachos. Oh. Kind of wish I could buy one now. That would actually be kind of nice. <laughs> Star Citizen update. You can buy nachos. Like, the game goes from, like, 0 to 100 in terms of popularity. <laughs> if they could only simulate eating properly in a, in a video game, I think Star Citizen would win just with the whole... Pr oh, there it is! The floating pizza. Love it. Um, no, I think Star Citizen would truly triumph as a game... Um, if you could simulate eating in VR, because then we could have, like, nachos in space. <laughs> Sorry, I just had this image. I just got this thought of, like, out for a cheeky Nando's in Zero G. <laughs> it's possible. You know someone would do it. If there is a YouTube or a Twitter or a Facebook, you know there will be someone fucking about um, in the future with nachos in zero G. Now, I'm only going to quickly nip into this place. I'm not going to do anything because I wanted to do, um... Yes, I'm very much certain, Cortana. Sorry, I still got some chiefness. Anyway, um... So the reason why I'm going here is because you can actually access a really good weapon store from here, and you may not know of it. Center Mass. Now, you may have heard the term Center Mass, and you may have heard that there's a game, there's a company in this particular game which is uh, called Center Mass. Um, what you may not really know, though, however, is that there's a store called Center Mass, and it is up here on this tower, and it has guns. <laughs> Daka, big Daka. <laughs> It also has, in my opinion, the best uh, assault rifles in the game at the moment. Um, and this, admittedly, this is my opinion. Also, machine guns. 
It has LMGs. It's got the PASC ballistic as well as the F-55 ballistic and all that jazz. Um, ballistic weapons are my jam. Um, you've also got the Arc Light, the L-86 version with the desert thing to it. Uh, Night Stalker, LH-86. A few physical things. I wish we could use this in physical person. It almost looks like you can as well. Hmm... Oh, I just love it. There's even rifling. I'm just going to say that this right now. There's rifling in this thing. And it looks so good. Oh. I'm not too sure about the compensator still being rifled. But something tells me, um, eh. Uh, but no. So what you can do, just to quickly show. But I won't do it. Because I want to. I'm on a sort of a scavenge run, if that makes any sense. Where I'm going to be trying to steal the weapons from the enemy to be able to get it. So, in this, in this store, you can buy a whole bunch of things. There's the Arrowhead Sniper Rifle, which looks pretty awesome. Looks, looks more like a DMR than anything, but it's a laser weapon, so... Um, you have the LMG, you have the pistol. Frag grenades, Warhawk. Um, where did you get this weapon? This is my current favorite weapon in the game at the moment. Um, this is the S71... Uh, Gemini Assault Rifle. Manufactured by Gemini. 30 rounds. Uh, low rate of fire um, because it's on semi-auto. Uh, now, some people may enjoy this. Some people may not. This gun stock, that's basically you just buy the gun straight up, is uh, pretty awesome, actually. It doesn't take too much to one-tap... Uh, it doesn't, one -tap, doesn't take much to tap people down. And it's pretty accurate. As, again, it's semi-automatic. It rolls really well. This is a perfect DMR. And with attachments that uh, may be coming in um, in the future for extra stuff, this may truly be a good thing for uh, weaponry when it comes to stuff. And apparently missile launchers. Oh, this is for ships. For a second I thought it was like handheld. But no, it's not. <gasps> I want. It looks so good. Uh, but yes, so... This is a store that you can visit which allows you to upgrade your ship's um, weapons supply and it's a very good store. Recommend it. Um, you know, I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favourite store on the Ark 18 area. Oops. Let's put you down there. Um, but yes, the only way you can reach this store to my knowledge at this moment though there could be other places that has this store and I haven't spotted. Ooh, round one. Um, is to go to Area 18 go to the admin building and pop a low to say, you know, what you want to try and see stuff. Also, you can trade here. Uh, but again, it's one of those things. Anyway, we must depart and head over to the thing. And I can't see through glass. Oh my god, look at how nice that glass is. Oh. Apologies for the sort of shoddy frames thing, but I am currently running this off a hard drive. I know the game says, just look at fucking how amazing this glass is. Ah, so good. Um, I, I am a sucker for slow details. That's the trading area, actually. Quick detour, but if I don't do it now, I'm going to punch myself later. Um, so, this was also available in the older builds of the game as well. In fact, this place has changed very little since um, uh, the older patches. But, it is always a good idea to showcase that this place does still have it. And I cannot wait before... I cannot wait before... Um, if well, yeah. I cannot wait until it has more functionality. Now, there are a few sub-paths and a few smaller locations which takes you down to, like, bars and pubs, and there is still the hospital there, which is good. Um, but unfortunately, we are beginning to run a little low on time. So instead, I'm going to zerg our way over towards the only tele well, transportation area, unless you want to risk flying a ship in here. Shikro. Um, to be able to get to it. But here's our sort of starting area. With ginormous um, holographic lady. And in about 30 seconds, we're going to be getting our transport out of here. So we can examine pretty. Yeah, pretty. Um, tele uh, holographic person thing, whatever it is. That looks nice. Um, just, oh, just look at this. Just. I mean, I'm looking forward to having SSDs so that I can run this better. And better still, with the f increased functionality and other aspects of the game coming to a bit more fruition, 
Uh, we could easily see this becoming the new, you know, even more stuff coming out of this place. Because there are other areas on this planet that I haven't visited, actually. Uh, which is pretty darn good as well. It's just a shame that, um... Ooh. That looks like, uh... I have no idea. That looks like... Obviously it's an ambulance, but... I should really be focusing on this. Look at that. Like, the uh, the transit system as well, which at some point I'm going to be making video content um, nearby Hurston, because I've been to Hurston a number of times. Um, oh, frame loss. Oh, sorry guys. Apparently people have and successfully... Uh, there is a point in which you can jump off the bridges, because as you can see over there, there's a bus nearby the bridges which allows you to jump off if you should so fancy such a thing otherwise you're in for a long trip down but i just love the vibrancy and the colors of this city ah oh, this is beautiful i have to be careful with which way i hold my system because i don't really want to risk falling through this train system and to my immediate death but around here you may notice the menu screen for Arc 18 um, somewhere nearby. There's like, a there's like a cluster of buildings with like the swirly icons and the swirly holograms. And we're on a motorway now, which is hilarious. There you go. There's the 300 I in its rightful place on the ground. Shamefully going slow. And no, I don't hate the 300i, I just think it's for posh twats. Now People who want to look cool in space where no one cares about you. So, let us now... Oh, it's still 14 kilometers away. Where the fudge are you? I am honestly confused. Oh, check out the 51 frames. Get in there. I mean, my, I, they're fluctuating, but I'm rolling at 50 frames now, and it's smooth. I don't mind it being 50 frames. I'm never. I don't mind not being able to hit 60 frames or whatever. But like, if I can have smooth, for like 50 uh, and up frames when recording, I'm happy. So this is the, by the way, whilst I'm rambling on, this is the customs area, which in the future updates to the game will have increased functionality, which means, you know, you might not be able to uh, walk uh, through customs with a grenade tackled to your equipment and a gun to your side. You know, you may in fact have to surrender your weapons when you go into there, because the Armistice Zone symbol, which is to the top right of the screen, is planned to be removed, um, and security will be a lot more uh, enforcing of the rules if you, for example, wander around with a gun loaded in your hand. Just saying, it may not be a good idea to do so. Right, okay, so I am going to somehow... Um, I... Mm, I don't know how to all oh. because it says oh it is quite literally just I don't know what to do um hangers is there anything I've not done this mission before so I've, I'm I wanna say I want to I'm probably gonna have to grab a ship but it's like, I don't really want to have to take the Freelancer. Which, by the way, I bought a Freelancer. Um, sadly, the Aurora package is gone. But it has been replaced with a Freelancer, which is pretty good. Also, I haven't called my ships yet. Why can I not pick up my ship? Is a good question I'd like to ask. Where is the screens that allow me to do... Oh, they're all the way back here, aren't they? You're, contem you're contemplating the, the, the logistics of doing something. Fair play. Um, you know what? I'll take the Hornet. Um, now, I know... Oh, hello. Andy! Huzzay! I don't mind losing the Hornet, because I technically haven't bought it. I'm not entirely sure... 
I, I know someone told me about the fact that you get the Hornet with something for temporary. At least I think so. But regardless, I can experience life with the F7 Hornet, which is kind of cool because it was one of those, it's one of those ships that I'm not so desperate to have that I'll prioritize it as a big thing. But I am, you know, I am interested in it. I think it's a fair statement. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in it. it it's, it's an aircraft which, um, if I was ever to go serious as a, a solo pilot, then, yeah, I probably would go uh, a little ballistic over that. But, uh, we've got verticals. Joy. Well, this is the Hornet. It has got... I think this is the basic bare bones edition, so we haven't got lots of weapons. But I know that the Super Hornet has got uh, a turret on the top. Uh, she's got a few other sort of special things, but at the moment it looks like she's just got a couple of size 2 gimbaled, I'm going to assume, or is that actual fixed? I'm going to assume gimbaled. Um, open as well, get inside. For a single seat fighter aircraft, um, she does, it looks a bit big for a, just to be a single sheet, uh, sheet, sheet. Uh, just for a single seat aircraft, but there you go. Anvil Hornet. I do like the displays though. It's nice. Right. Right, let us make the coal calm. Landing services. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, no, they are opening up. That's good. I like the um, color of the uh, text, though. Wish you could... Uh... Right. So the orange uh, things represent no-go in flying. Right. Let's try and make our way to this... Um... Ooh, this thing legit moves up and down regarding your uh, thing. That's intriguing to note. This is the first time I've actually flown a Hornet as well. It looks, it looks and feels nice. Nice, large, wide um, display. You've got six MFDs, which, remember, using the Wasad options, you can quickly maneuver around. This is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So apparently we got a private pad to pick this particular ship up from. I'm not entirely sure what ship we're gonna be given to accomplish this task. That's fine. I'm loving the white wing style canopies um, in this particular ship. It feels like a Y wing. I'm yeah. Like sad as that sounds, I'm gonna reference Star Wars a lot in this game in my videos regarding this game as well. Right, so... The icon just disappeared. Oh, there, there it is. It's a cutlass. Oh, snap! <laughs> I am definitely happy about that. Right, let's, let's get a... Oh, this is brilliant! This is a great way to start a video to, uh, uh, thing. God, flying the Hornet for the first time. And now we're flying, um, frickin' Cutlass. This is awesome. This is pretty frickin' awesome, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Never flown a Cutlass. Uh. Right. So that was the Hornet, a really good ship, uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10, amazing flight. No, that, that, for a starting incident, yeah, that shit was good. Ah, oh, just look at this. I gotta, I gotta take a snap, I gotta take a snap. Especially since it's sort of at night as well. I thought I finally figured out how to move uh, the camera in for um, for, for snapshots. You got to basically 
Yeah, there you go. There she goes. Boom. Um, you basically have to uh, press and hold the F4 key and utilize various controls like the arrow keys, the push up and push down, uh, sorry, page up, page down, whilst holding on to the F4 key in order to be, uh, oh god, um, in order to be able to uh, maneuver the camera around and it makes it for, and make for really good screenshots. Of course, no one tells you this. I had to figure this out. I mean, the game will show it to you in the con in the controls, but you have to physically look for it, and no one says, oh, by the way, you can do it if you do this. This is really dope. So this is the Cutlass, and it almost looks like the Cutlass Black. In fact, I think it is the Cutlass Black. The Cutlass Black is made by... Oh, Drake Industries. There we go. Um... I mean, I'm not going to be able to quote you facts and figures because there are plenty more people who know their shit far better than I, but I can give you a basic summary, which is Drake Industries, who are famously known to saying, hey, we don't support piracy, but we're not going to do background checks on people who wish to buy this ship. And it's totally suitable for piracy, but we don't condone it. Um, hint, hint. The general purpose of this particular vessel is to act as a transporter. You can transport vehicles, cargoes, most likely people, uh, hence the side doors here. Uh, which you can access with this little panel over here. Open the panels up, there you go, and close them again if you want to feel evil. So, I can imagine easily you could line maybe three or four people with rail guns on the side, or missile launchers, depending on when people want to fly. Um, it equip comes equipped with two options for people, uh, and as such, two beds for dedicated crew. Uh, the rest will have to be just dropped off and hope that they've got beds over there anyway. Um, there's the co- oh, so there's a co-pilot seat? There is a co-pilot seat. Yes, so three people, but generally one person is going to have to sit there twiddling their thumbs and is unable to sleep, and the gunner will just have to um, just hope that there's something he can do. Right, so now we have got to fly to the stash, which is really far away. Right, let's go for it. Now, this is my first time flying this ship. See, it's doing well with the voice and everything. So we have missiles, we've got cannons and equipment. We've got a crap load of uh, things. We've got targeting sensors. I might just do my personal tweak and make this thing 360, which is fine. Slightly lime style uh, things. Yep, she's got lift. Okay, here we go. Okay. Successful launch. That's always a good thing. We are in hover mode. Okay, raise the power level and increase. Arc it to try and push into position and go. get out of the planet. For anyone wondering what I just did, in order to, for some some ships um, in atmosphere, uh, for some reason, can't seem to get out of their hover mode. Um, so the best thing that you could, my best recommendations for that um, is to utilize, hang on, can I do, can I do cheeky? Oh, can I do cheeky? Oh, there we go. Um, the, that might be the screenshot for the, for, for the thumbnail as well. Um, no, but basically, in order to get your ship to go to, be, to get moving once again, you have to sort of arc your ship like a helicopter and pitch forwards so that you gain enough momentum so that you move out of the um, hover mode. Because at the moment it's cons it's um, con yeah at the moment hover mode is automatic, which means uh, you have no real choice in the matter. Uh, I would personally prefer uh, CIG to make this like a toggleable ability such as the landing gear that they did because it gives players a much better choice and I feel would make landings so much more uh, a lot easier shall we say um really right let's just match it at that then um would make flying uh, and landing so much easier for things if we had that as an option but anyway, 
Uh, so we need to get ready to move to a stash, and you're just out of range, aren't you? Right, let's zoom out. On Lyria. Okay, fair enough. The stash is located there. Where is the closest? Okay, looks like Sheba's mining facility is probably our closest um, is our closest bet when it comes to ah shit okay once again okay so to prove my case we're stuck we can't go forwards um, or we can because we're now left zero G never mind right well whenever I get the chance um, I will try and demonstrate with a ship that struggles to get out of it but generally speaking um, the best way you can deal with um, getting out of hover mode and you can't get out of hover mode is to quite simply just pitch your, uh, your ship forward, let the momentum of your ship get you enough speed and then instantly flip the ship back up, use the cruise control setting which is C regulated by your scroll wheel to regulate how much power and basically gun it um, to be able to get yourself out of atmosphere. So in a sense your best sort of way of landing and taking off is basically you just sort of take off to a decent height and then we'll, we'll say maybe about three, four thousand feet into the air, um, or altitude meters, whichever on the mark on the altitude system it talks about. Then um, you should be able to reach that now. I can't still be stuck in Atmo, surely. I mean, I'm out of the atmosphere. I'm literally about to see. I've, I'm seeing the ozone layer, so I'm fairly confident I'm out of Atmo. Right, clear route and start again. Still in atmosphere, apparently. GG. Um, but yeah, so the ideal scenario is for you to get roughly five to six thousand feet up into the air, and then as you then as you stabilize with your atmospheric uh, systems, you then basically um, you basically get the thing set up. You try and push, and if your aircraft doesn't want to go faster, you then tip your aircraft forward, pitch it up or down, um, and then as your then as you finally get into position uh, to initiate, you quickly flip up, and you should be good. Now, if I could have a if so, and if any of you guys want to donate a, a cutlass for me to experiment with this particular style, I'd be much appreciated of this. <laughs> Hey, looks like we can go out into the wonders of space. So, yeah. Right, so this is in fact going to be a ground op, which could make me wonder what kind of contacts am I likely to face um, inside this planet. Because I don't have a proper gun. I have a pistol and a shitload of ammo, but I don't have a gun. Well, the thing is I can pick up guns from the enemy if I can survive the initial combat. So, this is going to be like Escape from Tarkov, with a hardcore run. And truth be told, that game gave me aneurysms. Oh, this thing is really quick on the, um... This thing is really quick on surfaces, though. Ho -ho! Get in there! <laughs> Jesus Christ! 867, 868 planet side. I could probably go faster. I can go faster. Look at this. Yeah, this is clearly transportation to the front lines. Like, I made a mention in my previous video, um, well, in previous videos, about the Avenger Titan being considered uh, a good dra um, transportation uh, for infantry and equipment uh, lineup, but mainly infantry. Um, because it's so small, you could probably get a bunch of these onto the planet. But the big disadvantage is that this thing can it cannot go 879, 880 kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour, uh, meters per second, um, rolling around um, on a planet, uh, rolling on the atmosphere of a planet like this. Holy shit! This is ridiculous. All right, let's begin to slow it down because we don't know if these guys have got AA defenses. Oh, this is a beauty of a ship though. Uh, oh, for a second I thought I made the fatal mistake of like going outside.
Yeah, this mission's made me want to get a cutlass now. Thanks, Star Citizen. You've made me just a little bit more broke. <laughs> Alright, let's get the serious game on, so I might not speak a lot during this initial phase, just so I know what we have to deal with. If it's an open environment and I could just waltz in, then that's fine, but at this moment in time, I don't even know if they've got any defenses or any significant uh, presence of troops on the ground. If they do, then we're going to have to do a few runs in the thing before we can actually land. Oh, good, I have shields. <laughs> I was wondering where you went. Uh, no, 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 no. That's it, that's it. Don't want to quite hit the... Uh... Yep, they got defenses. Stay low to the ground. I will go into auto hover for the sake. Yeah, they, they saw the ship. They saw the ship. I suppose we should have a look at this thing's capacity to fight. Oh, this thing has big, powerful weapons. Oh, God damn the fact that I don't have a hot SSD right now. Ugh. Working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Right, let's back away. Come on, computer. Work with me, work with me. Not a good idea, not a good idea. Right, I think we've eliminated one of their guns. Ah, there we go. That might help me spot the target a little better. It's a little awkward because we're having to rely on these... Um, up! Up! I want you to go up! No! Don't get caught in this stupid... Come on. Ooh, we're taking too much fire. Right. I am going to have to make an executive decision and not hit the fucking ground! Fuck this ship's... <laughs> right, okay. Now, if memory serves correctly, and I could be wrong, but these ships, do the anti-aircraft doesn't actually target infantry. So if I can park this vessel close to the ground... It does mean a bit of a hike, but they can't shoot me whilst I'm low and slow. Try and negotiate this area as best as I can, but I'm effectively creeping on them. Okay, I don't think we can get any closer without having to really trip some alarms, so... This is as good as we're going to get. Yeah. This is as good as we're going to get. Alright. And this is all I got. GG. Okay. Well, this isn't my ship, but that doesn't mean I... Um, if I fail to kill this thing, not from the thing... Okay, moment of truth time. 
They're shooting like Billy Ho, which means that these fuckers have got infinite ammo and the camera is going all ballistic because of it. Hey, Artcore or Random Moon. Is that core about? I don't know. Don't think so. We did we did have to circumnavigate the globe a bit, so. Well, somewhat circumnavigate. I don't know. Is there such a thing as... I'm probably certain there's a word that represents half circumnavigating, but right now I can't be bothered to remember it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't worry about shooting your own base sub. As long as you're shooting the AI aircraft... Uh, the aircraft in, that's fine. I imagine them at the board meetings. It's like, who the fuck blew up half the base? Uh, the... The anti-aircraft machine guns, sir. Uh, why? Well, there was a fly that got on the sensors. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do they not have, like, a cooldown? I wouldn't mind if these things had some kind of, uh... Restraint on them, but they really don't. Jesus Christ. This is probably not doing my computer any favours, I'll be honest with you, but I can't do jack. Unless I can somehow blow them up. But it... Waiting for them to suddenly turn and, like, rip me to shreds. It's like, I've got armour! <laughs> Here you go. Heroic shot of the day. I'm going to attack with my pistol against three automated laser defense turrets because I'm the chief. Dun da 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 Yeah, they're not they're not gonna shoot. Good opportunity to have a look see at what these things are actually made of. Oh, so they are completely automated. Well, you guys have fun. come to the time for the pistol. Right, so this is fairly similar to what we've had on Hurston. I have, in fact, you know, let's let's go down first. Hopefully my frames will still hold out. Probably not. Nope. Oh my god, the frames! We're still shaking, and the sound level's a bit bad, but... It's smooth. Okay, so apologies in case sound levels are bad. I've done this a few times before on Hurston, and the audio for some reason gets really dodgy when we go below planet. I've got armor to cover me, but... I've got grenades, but... I've got a shitload of ammo as well, but... We're up against dudes here, and I'm... All I'm toting is a pistol. Oh my god, look at that shit. <laughs> if, if selling drugs wasn't so lucrative... Well, if drugs was actually lucrative, this would be a very dangerous environment to be in. Or very rich environment to be in. Oh, wow, they even got there and up. Can I not have the hammer? Jesus Christ. Acquire maze from stash. There doesn't seem to be a... Uh, a spit... Um... Oh! Oh, that was close. That was close. Right. Frag out. Run!
Oh god, there's a grenade there. Really doesn't help that the fucking thing doesn't explode. <sighs> Wouldn't have minded if... Right, a grenade's duds in this game. Oh. Reloading. He's dead. Reloading. Load your damn thing. Now is not the time for you to glitch. Reload. This is the first time I've ever reloaded, and the, and the amount of ammunition total I have is improved. Game, let me reload, you fucker. Come on. Finally. Right, I've got a proper gun now. Ho, ho, ho. I've got one, two... Three, four, four dead guys at the moment. One, yeah, one, two. We've got more dudes over there as well, and they're going to be going any second now. They all carrying the same equipment? Yep, looks like it. I've got one mag's worth of info. Info? Info. In of ammo. Six with a pretty decent amount of armor on this one. A little bit distracting, I'm not gonna lie, but oh, quite a maze from the stash. That might not be all of them. That might be all of them, but they might not be. Ah, shit, misclick. <sighs> server, server, servers. Might be in here, actually. Holy shit. It's a whole freaking... And we finally found it. There we go. Ah. Okay, so we've successfully gotten the stuff after searching for a little bit. Now let's get the hell out of here. I think we've outstayed our welcome. So that's... Yeah, six, seven, eight guys killed. And I've got myself an assault rifle out of it, which is nice. Not a fancy one, but I've got one for free. It's a shame you can't search them for ammo, we're going to have to buy ammo, but that's fine. I can use that again. Right, now comes the interesting part. We're going back up to a sadly lower, lower than uh, perfect frame rate. And also, we have no idea what to expect when it comes to them responding. Let's hope there's no... Let's go! 
Imagine this place is exploding. Put it that way. Oh, it's exploding. The building's exploding and there's shit going all over the place. Dun, 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 na, 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 na. Master Chief, pack hang on. Master Chief, packaging services. Getting through the line of fire to you to bring your packages to your door or your money back. All right, let's get the hell out of here. It is literally bark wood. It's one of those sort of so simple you didn't really think. What? How? How? Really? How? I, I've got it right here. You know what? Doesn't matter. I'm still... Can I take the cutlass? Yeah, it is the Drake Cutlass Black. Doesn't matter. I've got the shit and I'm dropping it off to you. That's a bit cheap. There's a bloody time limit. Well, no, we're still we're, we're still accomplishing the mission, goddammit, and I'm taking this shit to... I'm <laughs> taking this ship to Garkor. I'm owning this ship now. I'd laugh my ass off if I actually ended up owning the ship because of some weird glitch in the system. <laughs> I got your shit. It took me a while to find it, but not that long. Jeez. I don't know why they put a time limit on this mission. And if so, why have it on such a passive one? Uh, I don't know. But regardless, I'm still counting this mission as a fish that is still on. We're still going back to Arkcorp and I'm still dropping off the, mu the bloody drugs. I didn't go through all that shit just to sort of go, oh well, at the last second. Still, I got to experience uh, flying the Cutlass. Made me want to get it. It's a good aircraft, I'm not going to lie. Like... Having flown it now, I'm honestly quite happy, uh, and I'll happily recommend it. And, it's, and this mission, if you can, I'd advise then in future reference um, for for players new to this mission, go look up what this particular drug looks like. Like, you know, look up before you make it to any place. Go look up uh, what this particular mission is, or the requirements for this are, and then um, check to see what the drugs looked like. Because I think there was a passive time limit that because we spent a bit of time mucking around in Arc Core, um, looking at things and stuff, that probably counted towards it. Which in my opinion, I think is silly because it doesn't, it shouldn't matter. Or if there is a time limit, let us know about it. Well, we can't access it that way, but I can certainly access it this way. <laughs> Run! Right, let's get the hell out of here. Done. And because little impa Miss Impatient decided to cancel the contract because she got cold feet, guess this is my ship now. I might as well turn my, um, my, uh, there we go. There we go. Right, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. See you later, suckers! That wasn't too difficult, he said. Right. Little Miss Impatient is going to get her package whether she likes it or not. That's beautiful. Right. Don't go away. Take our way towards customs. Drugs in tow. 
<laughs> so yeah, this probably won't ha be as uh, likely a scenario as uh, you'd expect it to be. Uh, but you know what? I'm just going to say it. Absolutely gorgeous ship. Uh, very much looking forward to having my own at some point. Um, she looks beautiful. Yeah, I, all I can say, really good ride, really good ship. Um, and don't forget, you can customize the weapons on this thing. So if you are an enterprising pi privateer, uh, or a bounty hunter, or anything of the like, uh, that's not a bad ship. Though I can imagine these things being um, used a lot in transportation for infantry. I'm just going to be carrying around a whole bunch of drugs in an airport. Like, legit just walking around with boxes of drugs. <laughs> and they're like, where are you taking that? I was like, I'm oh, just taking this to this random person who decided to cancel the contract. You know, she got cold feet because I apparently... Oh, no. She's not that she got cold feet. Is that she's an impatient little cow who um, doesn't allow uh, me to, you know... Who, me, who sends me to risk my life getting drugs... Um, only to cancel the plans as I'm coming out the bloody door. Nah, 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 nah. I'm all certain we've encountered some person or some friends who do this, where they'll make a big plan or something and, you know, make you do all the preparations before then calling you at the last second to say that it's off. So, no, no, no. On this occasion, this girl is getting her drugs whether she likes it or not. It's just I'll probably end up having... Well, I probably won't be able to get the ship... Uh, back, but you know what? It's fine. Let Art Corp take it. They've just. L She's not only lost a ship, like, I think for the money that she'll make, she might be able to afford another Cutlass, but will it be a Cutlass Drake? We're not sure. Sorry, Cutlass Drake. Cutlass uh, Black? We're not sure. You know, she's getting her fucking. Um, she's getting her uh, drugs. Oh, be sure of that. I got drugs. Hello. <laughs> Oh, this, um, <laughs> this is, um, uh, compost. Yes, compost for the grass on this lovely green planet. Uh, shit. I hope to make some grass. I'm going to start a grass making business. And this is going to be, this right here is going to be the best place ever. Honestly, you're going to love it. It's going to be sweet. Like my, it, it'll be like my armor. See, on my armor, it's all green. Imagine that, but on the ground. Green planet. Yeah. Right, so we're back, and we are right here. Oh, of course she doesn't want to fucking show up. It's probably she's over at the, ha the, ha the Hornet. Well, guess what, Missy? Oh, whoa, well, she is. Can I sit on her chair? Well, she can shove off. Curious. Should we go back to that Cutlass just to see if she'll accept the contract? Well, no, she, I won't gain anything out of it. Screw it. Right, okay. Well, she's, she can't even be bothered. So, you know what? I can't be bothered. Let's drop the package somewhere. There you go. Tell your boss I said hi. And fuck you. I'm taking the court black Cutlass. <laughs> so there you guys have it we've done a bit of exploring we were able to fly a numerous ships and now I'm gonna grab the box I just I, I gotta find <gasps> they ate the turtle rest in peace my dear friend you were truly a blessed creature. Oh no, they haven't even cooked him. Oh no, that's... Thank fuck, they're only that. But oh no, they ate the turtle. I didn't save him. Maybe he, he grew wings and flew away. You know what? We'll go with that. He, he grew wings because you never know how much radiation is floating about in this place. And someone took the drugs. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> So yes, thank you very, very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button, and of course, subscribing to the channel. Do not forget, um, there, there is this, this, it can only go up and up for me, because I'll be intending, I'm intending, 
I'm intending on buying an SSD, which means smoother frame rates and whatnot. Um, and depending on how things go with economy wear, I might be able to at some point invest and get more ships, and we could do more in this game. And don't forget also, if this is an alpha, there are loads of things that are not quite there, or are sort of, um, not in a negative way, but there's things that are going to be implemented, there's going to be new things, new planets, new... Uh, there's a new planet area and uh, city pl uh, place, city place, city place, a city uh, due to be placed in um, hopefully around Christmas time. So we're hoping to get some kind of improvement from that. And I am with an org as well, so I will be sh showing you some highlights of the some of the missions we've done. The first mission I did do, but it wasn't really that much to be honest with you. But that said, I hope you all be have enjoyed it regardless. And I will see you next time. This is Mr. Yeager signing out. Have a good one, guys. Right, moment of truth. Do we have a Cutlass Black? No! Damn it!